everyone, Steph here from thegoodride.com. We are here looking at the Yes Hell Yes. So the Hell Yes is a long-standing favorite board here at the Good Ride. It's one of those boards that really is a one board quiver. It can do a little bit of everything. So this is in the size 152. Nothing has changed for the 2023 season. It still has the setback inserts. It's still the same Hell Yes that it has been, just has a new top sheet. So the camber profile on the Hell Yes is a directional cam rock, which means you get positive camber in between the feet, going to rocker on the nose and the tail, but it's just slightly directional. But it also has a stiff flex, somewhere around a seven out of 10 flex. And it comes with the underbite. So there's these little bit of indentions around where your heels and your toes meet the snow for a little bit added edge hold on ice. Took this out, you know, we got it in the springtime in Mammoth. There was a variety of conditions, uh, definitely some ice, definitely some slush. And when Gina took it out, it was kind of some real snow. So she got to try it on some good snow. And for the record, I've never ridden this board in my size. It's a 152. And so every time I get on it, I'm like, ah, oh, I have to ride this board that is 10 centimeters longer than I normally ride. And, and the lowest weight recommendation for this board is about 15 pounds heavier than I weigh. <laughs> but every time I get on it, it's still a fun board. And to me, that speaks to how really fun this board actually is because I imagine it in my size and I think it's going to be even more fun then. But also I let a lot of people try this board out and they instantly like it. It's easy to figure out. There's really no learning curve. You know, it's quick to turn. It's stable. It can be ridden fast. It can be ridden off piste. It can be ridden switch if you want. And on a powder day, you can just put it on these slam backs and then really get some directional float on it. Uh, here's a look at the base. It comes with a centered base and it stays pretty fast. So I tested this board out with my Union Legacy bindings and I was riding my Vans Fair boots, which kept it feeling a little bit on the playful side, but still stable enough to be ridden kind of all mountain and, and faster. But it would pair well with a stiffer setup if you want to ride it a little bit more aggressively. You could pair it with some more Vans bindings and a little bit stiffer boots and it would feel a little bit more free ridey. We can start at the top of the mountain riding it on steeps. Even with my seven and a half foot boot, this board still turns for me quickly on steep terrain. I never feel like it's lagging. I never feel like I can't turn it when I want to. For me, the 152 feels like it likes that medium radius turn, but I can turn it quickly if I want, which makes me feel like if it was in my size, it would like a variety of different turn sizes. But it holds a nice edge on steeps. It's very stable. So if you're up there turning and you hit a little bump, it's not going to get bucky on you and it should absorb it and allow you to kind of continue on. And I love the underbite for the edge hold, especially in steeper conditions or off-piste conditions. I feel like the underbite just gives you a little added extra hold and a little bit of some insurance in case it does feel a little bit icier than you anticipated. And when you get down into like, let's say some off-piste bumps or some trees, always a fun board to ride in there. The little bit of rocker on the nose allows it to pivot quickly if you need it to, but the camber and the stiffer flex allow it to feel stable and feel very reliable in those kind of variable conditions. I do, I like this board off piste. I like it through bumps and even, again, I've never ridden it in my size. I've only ridden it in a 152 and it still turns for me in those conditions. So definitely if you ride it in your own size, it's going to turn. Powder, I feel like this is what puts the hell yes almost on another level of all mountain snowboards. The powder setbacks that it has turns this all mountain board into a powder board. If you're looking for the one board quiver and you don't want to switch out your board when it snows, but you're okay with moving your bindings back, this could be a great one board quiver choice. You know, it's already slightly directional. So you do get that and then it has that rocker on the nose and on the tail so it allows you to float a little bit easier than if you were to have a full camber snowboard. And just that extra setback will give you that much more flow. Now, the only thing with the setbacks is in order to use them, you must ride a normal size disc binding. So it won't work with a mini disc. 
And then when you get it down to groomers, again, this board is a type of board that does a little bit of everything. So yes, it can carve. It's not an extremely hard carver, but it's stable and it has energy and it's fun to carve. So it's not like a super aggressive carver, but it has the ability to carve. I'm um, just the positive camber and this being slightly directional and the stiffer flex. It just allows for a nice solid feel when you engage the edge. Yeah, so on groomers, I mean, you can choose. I feel like for me, this board on groomers likes a little bit more of that medium to large radius, but that's because it's a 152. Uh, so again, I feel like if it was in my size, I think I would be happy doing small, medium, or large radius. And it can do skidded and carved turns alike. Because of the rocker and because it's quick to turn, skidded turns are fairly easy on it. And edge to edge, I, I mean, it's crazy. It, this board turns quickly for me. Waist width on the 152 is 242 millimeters across, uh, which for my boot size, my seven and a half foot boot, is actually more of a mid-wide board. Still quick to turn, even with a wider waist width. So super fun on the groomers. And then, you know, if you hit some like chundery kind of side bits that are off piste and a little cruddy, it will hold together over there and be pretty stable if you run into some chundery uh, bits off the side of the run. So the park is the only terrain option I think that this board is not my favorite in. I feel like it would be playful enough to dabble in the park, but it's not very soft, so it's not butterable and playful in that sense. However, on jumps it feels good, it's nice and stable, and you get that good energy from the positive camber in between the feet, and a nice stable landing when you land as well. So you know, it's fun on like natural hits, natural drops, you find a little rock drop or a cat track jump, it's gonna be fun for that. And because you can ride a switch, you know, you can throw some 180s, throw some spins and stuff like that. It's not ideal for jibbing. It's just not, it just doesn't have that playful part of the personality as far as the flex goes. But if you've already jibbed before and you've hit boxes and rails and stuff, then it should be fine for that if you already have a little bit of that under your belt. But yeah, definitely playful enough for some natural hits and some all mountain freestyle finds. So I think we covered all the terrain options. Again, the Hell of a Yes, just a little bit of a dabbler. It likes a little bit of everything and it is fun to ride in all sorts of different terrain options. I feel like this would be good for an intermediate and above rider, all the way to expert advanced. If you're an expert and you're looking for a slightly playful but stable all mountain board, this would be a good choice. If you're an intermediate and you just want a board that you know that you can take in a lot of different situations and feel good about it, then this also might be a good choice for you. But we're just getting Gina's take on it. This is her first day on it, so you want to tell us how it felt? Uh, it felt amazing to do carbs and just every time I wanted to pop, it's too easy to pop anywhere. Really good turning radius. So you felt like it turned well at like different turn shapes and radiuses? It yes. was good? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. All around really fun board. Since it's directional, I felt a little difference when I was going switch, but nothing that I would not go switch for. But yeah, all around super fun board. And we rode it today. We had a little bit of icy condition, kind of scrapey groomer, but then some decent snow as well. Mostly rode it on groomers, tried to find some bumps, couldn't find any. <laughs> and then took it through the park real quick. But um, what what type of board do you normally ride? Like what is your riding style? Uh, it's a pretty stiff board all around. Camber board, similar size. So this is kind of the it's type of board that similar, you ride? Yeah, it's very similar. Okay. But this one for sure has more pop than either the Arbor or the Solomon no drama. Definitely a lot easier to just yeah get some air. So your normal board is the Arbor with the swoon? It's the Arbor swoon and then the Solomon no drama. Okay. And this is a 152. Do you normally ride a 152? 151, yeah. And it felt pretty happy, like the good good flex and everything for your specs? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So look at the yes, hell yes in a 152 and the now conda bindings medium? Yeah. Size medium, and you yeah. have a nine and a half foot boot. Correct. So yeah. they fit, they look like they fit pretty well. They with fit size. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks, Gina. Yeah. Take. yeah. Uh, so that is a look at the Yes Hell Yes. And if you want the full write up and review on the Yes Hell Yes, you can head over to thegoodride.com and check it out there.